Hello, my name is Dr. Yoon from Chungbuk National University Hospital of Korea. It's very honored to me to present our study in Korean Journal of Urology. Nocturia and urinary incontinence are common bothersome symptoms that are well known to affect health-related quality of life. Stress urinary incontinence, often accompanied by overactive bladder syndrome, and each main symptom is urgent with or without urge incontinence. Also, overactive bladder syndrome is frequently related to nocturia. Numerous studies have suggested that the mid urethral sling procedure significantly reduces not only stress urinary incontinence but also overactive bladder symptoms. Our hypothesis was that the improvement in objective bladder related symptoms after the transobstructive tape procedure in patients who present mixed urinary incontinence may also influence on nocturia symptoms. Therefore, we investigate the effect of the transobstructive tape procedure on objective bladder syndromes, particularly focused on nocturia in patients with mixed urinary incontinence. This slide shows the study design. We retrospectively reviewed the medical records of 237 patients who underwent transoptical tape surgery for treating women with mixed urinary incontinence. Of these, 86 patients had preoperative nocturia. Patients with neurological disease or sleep disorder that could affect the voiding pattern were excluded. Also, patients who taking anticholinergics or antidiuretics were excluded. Finally, 70 patients were eligible for analysis. Pre- and post-operative evaluations were consist of physical examination, 3-day frequency volume chart, and health-related quality of life questionnaires. The baseline characteristics of the 70 enrolled patients are presented in Table 1. The mean age of the patient was 55 years. The overall subjective and objective cure rates of stressed urinary incontinence were more than 88% and 82% respectively. Acute urinary retention was observed in four patients, but all were improved in a short period of time without removal or release of the sling. Other severe complications were not observed in the study group. Assessment of pre- and post-operative OABSS questionnaires are presented in Table 2. Placement of mid urethral sling results in a significant improvement in all overactive bladder symptoms, including nocturia. Next, we particularly focused on nocturia symptoms. As shown in Table 3, the sling operation significantly improved the subjective nocturia symptoms of the patient. Specifically, Sleep and energy domain scores in the King's Health Questionnaire dramatically dropped from the baseline scores. The sling operation significantly improved the objective nocturia symptoms as indicated by frequency volume chart. Over 55% of patients obtained an objective improvement of less than 1 ANV after transoptical tape surgery. Analysis of frequency volume chart revealed that the operation significantly decreased the number of 24-hour void number, daytime frequency, ANV, and the nocturnal blood capacity index. After stratification by nocturia severity, the mean ANV and NBCI was significantly decreased after sling operation, regardless of nocturia severity. Subgroup analysis was also performed in patients 
with and without nocturnal polyuria. AMV and MBCI were significantly reduced after transoptrital tape surgery in patients with reduced nocturnal bladder capacity and mixed type. In contrast, AMV and NBCI were not different in patients with nocturnal polyuria. As shown in Table 5, the nocturia improved group tended to have a higher preoperative functional blood capacity than the nocturia persisting group. Moreover, the nocturia improved group was significantly less likely to have nocturnal polyuria than the nocturia persisting group. In conclusion, over half of patients achieved an improvement of nocturia after transoptical tape surgery. Also, this procedure resulted in an overall significant improvement in overactive bladder symptoms, including nocturia in patients who present mixed urinary incontinence. Such an improvement of nocturia may be related to improvement of nocturnal bladder capacity after surgery.